Hi, I'm Lauren. Today I'm going to talk about magnesium. Why is magnesium important? What is it? Why should we supplement with it? And how do we get it from our diet? Okay, so what is magnesium? Well, magnesium is a mineral. It's found in actually a lot of the foods we eat. Um, you can get it in greens, it's in beans, it's also in uh, nuts and seeds. But why do we need it? Why is it so important? Well, magnesium is involved in about 600 processes in the body. Far too many processes for anyone to know or really care about. So I'm just going to talk about actually four benefits slash functions of magnesium and why we should consider supplementing with them. Okay, so a number one reason is that basically magnesium is needed for muscle contraction. Magnesium helps stimulate the muscle cells to open or send chemical messengers that basically open up gates or pathways on the muscle cells that allows calcium to come in. When that happens, it basically allows calcium to contract, so muscle contraction can occur. So without magnesium, no muscle contraction. Okay, number two reason is that magnesium is involved in glucose breakdown. Uh, and basically getting ATP from that glucose. So if you paid attention at all during chemistry class, which probably you didn't as much as I did, um, basically, if you can remember a photosynthesis of plants, um, the Krebs cycle is like photosynthesis for humans. So magnesium is involved in the Krebs cycle and the electron transport chain. So these two functions in the body, these chemical functions, basically help control or produce ATP in the body, which is essential, and it comes from glucose. So magnesium helps break down glucose and make it available into smaller um, elements or smaller compounds that are needed for the production of ATP along the cycle. So without magnesium, we ain't getting no energy from nothing. Okay, number three, so switching from energy and from muscle and weight training to stress and um, stress relief and sleep. So magnesium is also involved, number three reason, um, in production or increase of GABA in the brain. So magnesium helps produce gamma amino butyric acid. Say that fast. So GABA is actually, you can buy it as a supplement, but magnesium is also, if you increase magnesium, you can help increase GABA. So by increasing uh, GABA, you increase the state of relaxation, um, helps you feel um, stress relief, um, as well as less anxious. So it's good for sleep. Last reason is that magnesium is also involved in the cortisol response. So it can actually help blunt cortisol production. Cortisol production comes from our stress response. When stress is high, cortisol is high. When cortisol is high, it causes a cascade of many different things in the body, including hindering our ability to build muscle, burn fat, sleep. Um, it can also have an effect on our emotions. So all in all, increasing magnesium can also help blunt that process. So how do we increase magnesium in our diets? Well, you can increase it by taking a supplement. So I actually did a little experiment on myself. I decided to increase magnesium over the course of about three days. And I got to say that it had an unlikely response that I thought it would have. So I'm typically a stressed person to begin with, but so, um, supplementing with magnesium, um, I used only about 250 milligrams, made me feel extremely tired, like tired beyond tired. If I would have taken any more of it, I probably would have slept the whole week. So for me, supplementing, no go. <clears throat> it also probably means that I have enough magnesium in my diet to begin with. Um, so magnesium can be supplemented. I would recommend using citrate like I did. Um, citrate is basically a very absorbable form of magnesium. Um, you need about 320 milligrams per day to take. Uh, you can take it also by pill. No problem there. Very easy to find. 
Um, it's also in other supplements like ZMA, which is obviously the sleep component of ZMA. Um, uh, but that's more a product that would be used for men to help increase testosterone levels. Okay. If you want to increase it in your diet, very simply, just increase your leafy greens, which, wow, I talked about in my last video. Um, increasing your leafy greens is amazing. Um, it's going to increase your fiber as well. Uh, you can also eat more uh, black beans, more nuts like almonds have a lot of magnesium, um, or eating more seeds. So all these things are things you would probably eat in a healthy diet anyways. If you have any comments or suggestions for another video or something you'd like to hear me jab about, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks!